Welcome to this morning routine video. If you're new here, my name is Hannah, and this is what I do every morning before I go to work. My work starts at 9 a.m., so every morning, my alarm always goes off at 7.53, and then I spend a few minutes just laying in bed pretending to be sleeping, and then around eight o'clock, I get out of bed. Something that has helped me to get out of bed more quickly in the morning is to put a time limit on all of the apps on my phone so I don't stay in bed scrolling through Instagram or watching YouTube videos. Another thing that has helped is I like to listen to music. And so you saw on the screen there a music playlist that I really like on Spotify. It's just a lot of really fun, upbeat songs that kind of that I can sing along to, that I can dance to, and that helps me to get out of bed and just makes the morning a little bit more fun and enjoyable. From a non-morning person, those are a couple of tips that I have for my fellow non-morning people. Once I'm out of bed, I do the normal getting ready kind of stuff. I shower, I brush my teeth, I get dressed, do all of that. After brushing my teeth, I do my makeup, and despite the number of makeup tutorials and beauty content I've consumed on YouTube, I like to keep things simple. All of my makeup fits in this one little bag, and I like it that way. I like keeping things simple. I like having just a natural looking makeup look each day. Another thing I really like about it is that it is really fast. The maximum amount of time it takes me to do my makeup is 10 minutes and I can do it in three minutes if I need to so having a simplified makeup look like this is just really great for me and I love all of the makeup that I have. All of this makeup I would highly recommend so if you're curious about any of the stuff that I'm using in this little segment I will have everything linked down below if you want to try something new. My favorites would definitely be the concealer I use from Tarte and the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. If I do nothing else, I put concealer <laughs> around my eyes and I put on that tinted lip balm. So I would definitely recommend checking those out if you want to try some new makeup. And of course, as I'm doing my makeup, I've gotta be singing and dancing along to my morning playlist. And so you'll see some of my moves. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Anyway, I just have one more thing that I want to say about makeup before we move on to the rest of my morning routine, and that is makeup should be something that you use to enhance your natural beauty. That is my philosophy, and as long as you are feeling confident and ready to start your day, it doesn't matter how much or how little makeup you're wearing, so don't compare yourself to other people and what kind of makeup they're wearing or clothes or whatever it is. Just do what makes you feel confident and makes you feel good about the way that you are presenting yourself. This is the routine that I like because it's very natural and it makes me feel nice and confident and ready to face the day. And with that said, I am going to move on to taking care of my hair. Again, I like to keep things simple. How many times can I say it in this video? But yeah, I just comb through my hair to keep, make sure there aren't any knots in my hair. And then I let it air dry because that is better for your hair. It doesn't damage your hair as much. I love my hair and I like my hair to be healthy. So that's that. And then I move on to accessorizing my outfit. My style is very basic, very like minimal. 
So I like to use jewelry to accessorize and just spice up my outfits. So today I was wearing some silver jewelry and some cute little flower earrings because I thought it would be appropriate for the springtime. And that is the end of my getting ready segment of this video. And that usually takes about half an hour. So then I have about 20 minutes to eat my breakfast and just prepare myself mentally for the day ahead, which is lovely. Hey, what you talking about? There ain't nothing like the real thing. Oh. The first thing I do every morning when I walk in the kitchen is I drink some water. And that is because every night I place a glass of water right on the counter so that I see it as soon as I walk in the kitchen. And so here's just one more tip for my non-morning people who are watching this video. And that is to do things the night before to make your life easier in the morning. This is just a very small example of that idea. But it has helped me a lot because I'm drinking more water in the morning, which is very healthy. And it goes very well with my breakfast, which is a bowl of cereal. Nine 95% of the time I'm eating cereal because it is very quick and very easy. Like I've said over and over and over again in this video, I like to keep things simple in the morning. And so although you may not see many morning routines in which people are eating cereal for breakfast, this is my morning routine. And what I want to say to you is that your morning routine should be right for you. And you should do things that make you feel energized and that makes you feel good and confident to take on the day and that just feel right to you. And this is what feels right to me. And as I'm eating my cereal, I like to pull out my journal and just check any to-do items that I may have listed in my journal the night before. And then that's basically my morning routine and it is time for me to get to work. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And if you stayed to this point in the video, comment down the, below the sunshine emoji. What else? Um, if you like me, you can subscribe to my channel. I post content like this every Sunday. And if you want to see what I do after the morning routine is over, you can click this video that I have on the screen right here. And if you want to see another routine of mine, you can click the video down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.